In this video, you take her over the role of a service provider. In our example, this role is assigned to Mark Spencer, who is a product manager at SmartDocs. In the role of this user, you first view the existing service catalog on the marketplace. Access the marketplace and log in with the username Mark Spencer. Click Browse All Services and filter the Content Management Services. Now, you can see the Docs 2 Go services which are offered by SmartDocs. The Bronze and Gold editions are predefined packages for specific target groups. A free of charge test version is also available. To view the details of a service, click Show Details. To view the price model of a service, click the Price Model tab. The bronze edition shown here has predefined parameters and prices which cannot be changed by the customer. Prices for events in the application have also been defined for this service. For example, the price for logging into the service is 1 euro per user. Any logged in above 5000 is free of charge. The gold edition is an example for flexible pricing. For different events and parameters, specific prices have been defined. When subscribing to the service, the customer can choose from different options. For example, he can choose his favorite support model with a corresponding price. In the next step, you will create a service edition for Docs2Go. For this purpose, you switch to the administration portal of Service Catalog Manager. First you open the specification of the technical service. As a service provider, you can find a list of all available technical services under Import Service Definition. A technical service describes the underlying application. Technical services are the basis for marketable services. In our example, two technical services are available, these are Docs2Go and Web Calendar. In our example, we will use Docs2Go to create a marketable service. In the service definition displayed here, you can see the parameters and events which have been defined for the technical service. For example, the parameter for the support model is defined here. You will now create a marketable service on the basis of the technical service of Docs2Go and publish it on the marketplace. Click the Find Service and select the technical service. Enter a service ID. This ID uniquely identifies the service for administration purposes. Select a service image which will be shown on the marketplace with the service. To be displayed correctly, the service image must have a size of 80 by 80 pixels. Enter a service name which will be displayed to customers on the marketplace. Enter a short description. Enter a detailed description for the service. Specify the following parameters as configurable by customers, maximum number of concurrent users for a subscription, maximum number of registered users for a subscription, number of days after which the subscription will be deactivated, support model, specify the disk space, and the maximum number of folders and files, save a new service. After saving the service, you define its price model. In the silver edition, you define prices for the configurable parameters which can be chosen by customers when subscribing to the service. To define the price model, click Define for Service. Select the service you just created. Select the Pro Rattle Calculation option. Define the prices as shown here. First, define the prices per subscription and user. The prices for users are stepped. Define the prices for events. For each type of event that occurs in the application, you can define the specific price. The prices for logging into the application are stepped. Define different prices for the support models per user and subscription. Finally, define an additional charge for the super user service role. Users with the super user role are charged separately. To save the settings for the service roles, click OK. Save the price model for the new service. Before you can publish a service, you have to define the corresponding options for it. 
at least you have to specify the marketplace on which the service is to be published. To define the publishing options, select Define Publishing Options. Activate the Public Service option to make the service visible to all visitors of the marketplace. Select the marketplace where your service is to be published. Save your settings. The new service now provides for four editions of the same application. For each edition, you can specify upgrade and downgrade options, for example, to give customers the possibility to upgrade from the bronze edition to the silver or gold edition. You will now specify such options for the bronze and silver edition. Specify upgrade options for the bronze edition, you first have to deactivate the service. Click Activate or Deactivate Services. Deactivate the Bronze Edition. Define up downgrade options. First, specify the Gold and Bronze Editions as upgrade and downgrade options for the Silver Edition. Save your settings. Now, choose the Bronze Edition and specify the silver and gold editions as upgrade options. Save your settings. Last step on your way to publish a service on the marketplace is to activate it. Click Activate or Deactivate Services. Click the bronze and silver edition. Save your settings. Now you can view the services in the service catalog. Go to the marketplace where you have published the services. The newly published service is shown on the marketplace.